All right, guys, back to another Set 11 TFT. I don't really want to run a Reaper game again. I just did one for a content. And I just played an Ink Shadow game. Man, the only time I've ever been like, okay, I'm going to play Ink Shadow. I actually had like a decent setup for it. And I was five way contest on units, man. The one time I tried to play, I had crap comp. Like, everybody was like building a like, hybrid Ink Shadow. I mean, what is going on right now? Some days, man. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. Fully adapted, maybe. Uh, we're gonna slam. Alright, that's good for you. We're gonna put you out as well. Let's get rid of this. There are 20 gold. So I'm thinking I either split between... Um... I was thinking Umbral or Duelists. I need a Duelist emblem to pull off the Duelist because I tried, tried to make either Kane or Yon a Duelist and run two Reaper. But I just might not pop off. This guy's going Duelist. I'm probably going to have to get out of this. Who's playing Umbral? Anybody? You hear me going Umbral? For sure. Are you probably going Sniper Warden? I only have one Umbral player. It leaves me a possibility. Everyone else is just kind of... This guy's obviously going heavenly. Okay, so we got one Umbral player, which has a Warden Sniper. So in the wildest dreams, I would not imagine to play Umbral. He's going to go Warden Sniper. So it leaves us the opportunity to get into that. And then, so our team comp will look like this. Clear all. We're going to have you. We're going to have you. Oh, we're going to be playing you for the... the we're going to get the Invoker activated off our training dummy. We're going to get our Reaper activated off our training dummy. We're going to grab you. What was the other one? Altruist? I think Altruist really fits into that team comp. Could try to activate it a little bit. And then you, and then say we grab you. Uh, where are you? And you? Umbral 6, Altruist 4, Invoker 2, Reaper 2, Bruiser 2. Or, okay, we'll, we'll set it up. We're getting there. We're getting there. Don't really need you. Got the two duelists already activated. Okay, that's our team comp, guys. It's not going to be anything amazing. It's trying to activate everything off my train dummy. When I play the train dummy, I try to activate everything. If I can. If not, it'll be two out of three. It's like... I find that, and I start doing this a lot in set 10. I find when you, you get a train dummy, it's not like necessarily like in your, your flavor of playstyle. It gives you a lot of options. You start to like see more of how to build like unique comps and like how to like adjust positions. And I just find like for me personally, that makes me better as a player, knowing like what units can pivot in and out really of a comp really well. And out of that, we're gonna get 40 armor and MR team wide. So that's on top of our health shield for being six umbral. Should be good. What do we need here? We need mana. Get that out of the way first. Okay, so if I do get a phone call, guys, my, my I'll have to mute my mic. My my car is in the shop right now, so getting it worked on. I'll have to pick that up. So if I go dead air, you know why? You do that, or I have to poop. <laughs> Well, that's the two star, eh? I mean, a case can be made to say that you're stronger right now. And that crown guard will save for Silas.
Case can be said that the Behemoth Umbral Shen is going to be more stronger for sure. I'm just going for Mad Econ here because I love the comp, but it's super expensive. And this guy's going to go Heavenly Yon. So I need to get to level 7 and start buying up those units. Sheesh. Bring you out. Let me shy on here. Duelist. I don't really want to... It just drops us back below freaking... We have to win this one, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... Uh... I mean, we can play this on you now in hopes of just selling you. Right, we're not actually keeping you. That might help out a little bit. Yeah, I called this one a mile away. There's not a chance now this guy was going to get Sniper and Warden on a, a train dummy going, bro. <laughs> like, that would be... Even I would have a hard... Actually, you know, I, yeah, I'd have a hard time doing that. That there, that train dummy is a gimme gimme right there. Ugh, right below the 50. That's why I didn't want to buy you. I should have just waited. Hoping that one person in this lobby sucked more than me right now. No dice. Okay. I mean, we do need this. We do need this. I think I should probably level up here soon, eh? Do I have any point to doing it right now? I want to see everything. If we have the two invoker already activated, I need an altruist. We could also try to go like invoker four, but I don't really want to do stuff like that. I don't want to just build my training dummy. I think the altruist four would be a lot of fun with that additional armor and MR. Especially if I get something like um yeah, unified resistance. Unified resistance too, because I'd be like what, like 40 plus 25, 65 armor and MR across my frontline team comp. Like that's that's substantial. Come on, guys. Man, at least we're keeping up with our loss spree. That three old blades, man, I just killed one of these guys last lobby. What did you get that made you pick ethereal blades? Jeweled Lotus. Uh, I don't know how I feel. Jeweled Lotus is kind of the play. I guess in the Fallen's a no. You're a no. So we're going to go with Jeweled. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Never forget the past. It only go Umbral 4, yeah. There's our two Reapers. Okay, so do we just fight? Who was I asked questions to? Oakum. What was your training dummy? Ah, uh, it's super weird that you'd force Ethereal Blades. This comp here is... Yeah, I don't know, man. I think sometimes people just like to ignore their training dummies. I get it. Like, if you get garbage, you get garbage. I think the problem with like training dummies, this might be a hot take, and it's my opinion only, so you guys can hear on me in the comments, which is how I view it. Is a lot of people lack the creativity or like basics, uh, like not the basics, but like 
I don't want creativity is not really the word either. A lot of people just copy paste builds. Like we've all seen it. Mortdog said on his streams. Everyone, everyone knows it. Like lots of people go to their their, their web page and they copy and paste, and then they put it in there. Like, yeah, I play the strong team comp. I take the S tier. I put it in my game. I try to win. The next game, I take the S tier. I put it in my game. I try to win. Like that's just how people play the game, and I get it. But the thing with that is like that's why a lot of people don't play Exalted or like train. They hate train dummies is because they can't think outside of the box. And this isn't all people, this is some. But they can't creatively make a team comp that will work and synergize, right? Like, some of the games where I get absolutely murdered in this game, like, people are doing crazy team comps that you would never see in, like, a meta guide. They're just synergizing really well, they're playing the perfect augments, they're like, oh, I got this, this, uh, you know, emblem, so I'm gonna put this in my team comp, I'm gonna bring this unit in because of that. And you just see, like, the craziest stuff, and, like, that was the kind of comps I like, when people don't really know what you're building all game. Like, a lot of people, I can, like, look at their build, and like, oh, this is, like, this is the S tier comp from TFT Academy. Oh, this is one of the main comps from Mobilytics. Like, you can just, like, look at it and be like, I'm not trying to virtual signal. It's just, you know, just saying what I see. No shade. Well, our loons going to be contested. Go Shen. Uh oh. Uh oh. No way. Lost to a Janna? That's a lot of invoker action going on there. I need that Silas. He's all the way around the world. Here I come to save the day. I didn't really want the, uh. the Bramble Vest. Double armor components, but. Yeah, guys, don't, before you guys go in the comments, you start ripping me apart from my previous message. That's just my personal opinion. You guys probably see the same thing or you see the game differently. That's what I view it as. Oh, I like to see it. Why are you just sitting over here? Let's work our way up to, actually, we should probably not be rolling. No, that's a bad idea. We need to get to level seven. Level seven is where my team comp really pops off. I don't really care about the, the nitty gritty low units like Darius and stuff. I'm never going to itemize the Darius in this team comp. We want to get our um, Alun and our Yeon online. And the fact that they've changed the shop odds, which we probably should all know by now from the last patch, it's level 7 is where you hit your forecast again. It went up to 40%. So that's a big upgrade. I think it was 33% before, they upped it to 40%. So that's where you want to like really pin down your, your team comp if you're playing three cost comps. Which I am, and it's a very expensive comp. So I don't, I'm not, like, I love Umbral, but like, they are costly. Where are we getting hurt? Bum, 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 bum. This guy's already level 7. Like, these people are pushing levels crazy. This. People high roll so much. I like that. Don't like putting you there, though. Uh, we'll put you out. Grab you. We're gonna put you in there. Put you in there. We still have 30 gold. Let's get you out. Yeah. Now we gotta float around this level for a little bit. <sighs> so I got one three cost and two four cost. So hopefully we hit the Silas like bada bing bada boom. What else am I playing? Two five costs. Ugh. Gross. That's not so bad if I fluke out and get one. Oh, this guy just jumped right in, eh? No regrets. Hey, it's there hitting my units. I had too many people can test me again. Yeah, it's painful. With heavenly rolls, 50 plus gold. This guy's got a really good setup. Thank you. Let's hit this, put another one in there. For our Yone, hopefully. 
Or Saraka, one of the two. This would be a one timer, I actually wouldn't mind a 1 2 5. It's such a gamble, though. Oh, we're so good. Oh, yeah, let's get you back in there. Ghostly Reaper. Right, that feels a little bit better. Kind of broke. If these two turn into Silas, I'd be ecstatic. I like this. Everyone in? Good. I used to thought you had to manually click your dance button in here, which I think is like control four or something like that or whatever it is. You just automatically dance when you're in here. Things you learn over so many games. Uh, Grim Harvest, no. Healing Orbs, that's not bad. Keepers. That's not bad. Two random four cost champions? Let's try that. Let's try luck here. Oh my gosh. Not what I wanted. We got our Silas there. Death is not always a release. What's this last for? Right, we'll take it. Uh, the crown guard we're gonna be selling, right? So we need to get... Uh, that's gonna be that... Are you for real right now? It's like the worst items. Oh no. Shen hit. Shen hit with toxic Q. I see why you're doing that. Mana Reef? Yeah, there we go. Execute? Yeah. From Togmo, baby. No more rounds this last four. Yeah, one more round out of this. So you're gone. Silas gets his crown guard as promised. There's our two ribbons we're waiting for. Heavenly, no. But they want to try to bait her to another Silas, and like, hopefully, it's our last round, right? This would be crazy. If all these turned into Silas, oh boy. The chats that happen are like zero. Mm. Funny to think about, though. No way. No way. There's our other set. There goes our set. What do we need here. We have crown guard. We need AP. All right. So we're going to get our bruiser out with uh, Ribbon. That's part of the plan. And then we just need Rakan. That's our team comp, guys. 
sad. What's money though? And let's push it yet. No. Edge of night. I don't think that's really any good on anybody here. I still have two more items coming, so let's hold off. Gotta try to make our comeback, guys. It's not gonna be easy. But I like the idea behind our comp. We're about to get 10 more armor and magic resistance. I think a lot of people are playing this uh, balloon. Yeah, you got your balloon. That's nice. Like, dude, these people got some crazy comps. Why is my second? Because like, why are my units so contested every game right now? Craziness. What else do we want on you? Probably a bloodthirster. Eh? I mean, I like spark would be really good too, but then you just don't have any heal. He's got Reapers, but I also have Executes. I think I have the upper hand here. Making our way back top. Bump, bump, bump. Trying to get the top three. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I am a terrible singer. We're going to just kind of like slow roll into our next level. I want to hit level 8 coming out of this, and then we gotta save, hit level 9 and get this last altruist. Which is gonna be Recon, so it's also gonna be right line, I guess, but it's damage mitigation, which is good too. If we can get 2 star Recon, it's gonna be pretty nice. There's our Bloodthirster if we so wish. Oh, Duplicator, that's nice. Okay, so we got Bloodthirster, potentially. We also have an Attic Spark. Oh man, that's tough. You get that. That's the best way to make use of both those like, items. I think that's the best way to do it. Well, I forgot to put my unit up. I had one job. One job. I need to pick up some sort of shred off the carousel. Static shiv, ionic spark, something. Uh oh. We're in trouble. Would my eighth unit made a difference there? Possibly. Probably, actually. It's dark. It's just no love, man. Single star. Let's get away from that. 60 gold. We'll hit it on carousel. So we're going to try to find Rakan on carousel. A lot of people in this game still, man. Not comfortable. I really have no frontline tank. Yeah, the execute goes a long ways. Come on. They have a lot of HP. More than me, man. Four rerolls. 
The last used. Okay. We're gonna ignore this uh, Soraka because she's not itemized, so I don't really want to hit her with like three stars. Is not in the cards right now. We're actually gonna try to show Darius some love. Oh, there you go, buddy. Welcome. It's gonna open to get our umbral here. <laughs> <laughs> Darius, do you? Uh, Silas is contested. I'm not gonna be able to three star until another guy dies. So I'm not gonna worry about that. My main priority is hitting level nine with uh, Rakan. Two star set. Of course it is. This is where you should head heal. Man, the damage goes out. Like, that guy should have lived. The damage that goes out here is insane. I feel like they upped the damage, hey? Like, to get that much damage on 5-3 is crazy. No recon. Okay. Do we have a shred? We do not have a shred. We do have... I kind of wanted that. I'm gonna put this on our. It's not ideal, but it's something. We'll put that on our uh, Yon. It's a final item. Help him cut down some tanks. Sixty-eight. Let's push it. We are made by our choices. Come on. No prison can hold. There it is. Stick to the plan. We have a plan. There it is. There it is. All right, you know what? Let's just do this and not lock it in. Stick to the plan. We have a plan. Guys, this is us in a nutshell. We made this comp. We came up with an idea. We planned it out here so we could activate everything. And now we are bringing it to its full form. Is it good enough to beat the game? Probably not. Should I win four invokers? More than likely. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, that's obviously the guy in first. Yeah. I don't know why I had to fight that guy. Terrible RNG. Oh. Uh. Screw that, York. Room. Hello, you ready for me? Okay, so we're doing this. Umbra four, Ultras four, Bruiser two, Invoker two, Reaper two. I like it. I like it a lot. You're the damage mitigation, which is pretty nice. Probably fighting you, so we get that team up in the air. Huge for us. Hey, move your teamo. Oh, you just left your team there. Okay. I'll take it. Come on, guys. Imagine if that guy's Teemo was not airborne for three seconds. Like, had they scouted, that probably would have been a different outcome. So yeah, guys, I'm going to do this pretty much every time we get a train sent off now when I make a video. We're going to just try to activate everything so you guys can see my thought process. Ideally, like, if I were to, like, do this a different way and not want to play Ultras, I would play played for Invoker. Uh, that would be a way stronger build for this comp. You get Annie up front, you would get uh, Azir in the back. For what we were given, I'm okay with what we did. I think this is still strong. If I were to have a better way to play it, I would have pushed for 10, maybe activated two Dragon Lords. 
I mean, technically we still could. We could pull one of our ultras out, but I want to keep the four. All right. There we go. There's our shred. Perfect holder for it, too. Perfect holder, man. You jump in. You do reduce their damage for four seconds by 10% and you put a debuff on them. And I'll ask for a better setup there. Oh, oh. Probably should have rolled here, eh? But we're not hitting anything. Oh no. The sound of Spark and Recon cannot have came better, like for us, man. Crazy. Let's try to bait out this, uh. We go here so I should sell you. Really? Legends are told in word and deed. You guys both have sets or what? I feel like you do. You have one. You're just printing units on your shop? Ugh. I should have scouted here and moved my freaking... Yeah, put her central so she would have picked up someone in the back middle. My bad. Oh yeah, this, this hurts. This guy has a really good team comp. Played Invoker so well with Arcanus, yeah. All right, guys, we tried. We did not hit. Like and subscribe for more content like this. We got third. It's not bad. Could have maybe hit second. See you on the next one. Peace.